it's quite astounding, some of these laws, and I don't know how they've come into place, but in the United Kingdom, fortunately, I don't know if you know this, but recently we've had an election and we managed to drive out the socialist government and we've replaced them. <laughs> and we've replaced them with a conservative government, a conservative liberal government, but liberal doesn't mean the nasty thing that it means here. It just means uh, tax lowering and uh, sort of free spirit, as I, I like to think of it. Um, but in the United Kingdom, it doesn't matter uh, whether something's illegal or not, because we have a wonderful thing, I say wonderful, I'm an author, thing called, that was just British politeness, I can't help myself. Um, we have this thing called ASBOs, Antisocial Behaviour Laws. Now, ASBOs are what we call in the legal profession uh, a lark, uh, because they uh, are uh, a way of making something which is perfectly legal, illegal. They identify a pattern of behaviour, and whether or not it's legal, as long as it's annoying somebody, you uh, can be the subject of an ASBO, which will make your behaviour illegal. Now, taken at its highest, what that means is playing that music I don't like, wearing those trousers I don't like, looking at me funny, could, with the benefit of an ASBO, all be illegal. Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, actually, having spoken to all of the students uh, from the Unwritten's Foundation, that none of them have been the subject of an ASBO yet. Um, but judging from some of the behaviour since they've been here, uh, I, I predict ASBOs are plenty when we get back. Um, now, of course, this um, would be something we protested about in the United Kingdom, but when we weren't looking, the socialist government used the terrorist atrocities of 77 and 9-11 to justify making protesting illegal. What they've done is they've created a law, which they said they created to prevent terrorism, and they've made it so that it is now illegal to protest within one mile of Parliament without a license. What they've done is remove the right of normal protesters to have their voice heard. And I don't know if you're aware of this, because I've spoken to a lot of Americans and very few of them are, but the same thing is happening here. During Barack Obama's inauguration, there were protests, but you didn't see any of them because they were confined to what Americans call First Amendment zones. And what those are, are zones which are specially set aside for protesting. And only within those zones may you exercise your First Amendment rights. That is to prevent poor media, disrespect to foreign dignitaries, and so that the crowds can be controlled. Now, I, I'm not sure about this, but when I read the First Amendment, it said Congress may make no law abridging the freedom of speech. 